they said they probably thinking to themselves what in the world is this guy doing <laughs> up, up, up. <laughs> wow no way oh my goodness this is so steep <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel Right now I am in Ljubljana The capital city uh, With my father We'll be riding to All the way down to the south today To the southern part, part of Slovenia To the region Kočevje Or Goče in German It's a region with with a lot of history uh, and I'm gonna tell you about it when we get there uh, but yeah we're gonna visit there um, a friend of my father who's a farmer he has Scottish cattle uh, named Galloway the breed's called Galloway from the Galloway region in Scotland if I, if I remember correctly and uh, yeah we're gonna visit him maybe I'll be right my, maybe I'll be able to ride a little bit of gravel roads just to practice uh, or even off-road if, if they have something in the area we'll see uh, yeah looking forward to that and maybe we'll even uh, ride to the border with Croatia because a friend of my father works there at the border just to greet him and yeah then we are off towards home so yeah pretty long day ahead of us at least five hours of riding 260 kilometers or something like that and yeah probably longest day so far but yeah i'm really looking forward to it 28 degrees great weather and yeah let's see what the roads bring us today let's go Just a quick stop on the petrol station and then we continue. There we go. Another hour to go. Let's do this. guys now we are in Kočevje the town we have another 20, uh, 30 minutes to go so I think I'm gonna tell you the story uh, of the history here so there were settlers from Germany called Goče Gočar uh, in Slovenian it's called Koč uh, Kočevari and uh, they were settlers from Germany that came here in the 14th century 600 years ago, more than 600 years ago they came here from Bavaria and uh, Tiro Tirol uh, and yeah they stayed here all the way to the end of Second World War they had their own uh, language the Goche language similar to Bavarian but not quite uh, and yeah they had their own culture everything here they were like a little island inside of a, a Slavic pool pool of people uh, and yeah they got along nicely with, with everybody, everybody with the Slovene neighbors uh, yeah, they had farms many villages uh, churches and everything yeah even when the when the world war one finished they were up, still a part of uh, kingdom of yugoslavia and everything was fine but then when the second world war came in 1941 they had to move 
they had to move to to the lower Styria Stire, here uh, in the Brezice Kershko uh, area because this part of Slovenia was back then when the when the Axis forces came here it was part of Italy and yeah, uh, Hitler had a deal with Mussolini that all those uh, Gochi people had to had to resettle up by the Sava River and Kirka. Uh, yeah, they had to resettle there, and of course, because they had to resettle there, they also had to sleep somewhere nah? and uh, and leave. So those, I don't know how many how many people. I think at the peak there were 30,000 of these people here, these German German people, and uh, of course. Not all of them uh, stayed here for so long. Some of them moved um, to, to the United States, to New York, Cleveland. That's what I read about, that many of them are there. Uh, some of them moved to Austria and Germany. But yeah, in order to make space for those people in Brezice and Kershko, they had to, to deport Slovenian people. Slovenian farmers and everybody who lived who lived there uh, had to go to eastern Germany and do forced labor there in factories and in uh, on farms and yeah all the way to 1945. Of course, when the the German people, which were on good terms with with uh, with Slovenians and other Slavic Slavic people uh, moved there. Most of them were Nazi supporters. At least that's what's written in uh, on on the web. But yeah, once they came there, of course, and people saw that that their own people had to leave for them, their houses and everything. Then of course the partisans started attacking at them, uh, harassing, murdering them, and yeah, it was just. Nothing good came out of this, no one was happy and the Germans even had to, to move more forces down there to, to keep peace and everything, which of course didn't happen, but yeah, at least that's what they tried. So yeah, now um, I read that there are now, how many, there were 160 around that number uh, villages, once there. And now there are only around 50 or 60, something like that, left, preserved, others were destroyed. And also churches, I think there are only 20 from 120 left, something like that. I don't know the exact numbers. Yeah, when the, when, when the end of the war came, the, the Germans had to leave, these Gochi people had to leave the... the Yugoslavia uh, and yeah or they had to abandon their culture and their language and everything I think that is that's an unfortunate part of history okay we have another 20 minutes to go so let's do this wow such great roads Spectacular, look at this. I'm nearly here. Two minutes to go. 500 meters. My father is in front because he knows where it is. Look at this open space. Uh, there is a church that I can already see right. That's probably a church. She used to stand here. And the settlers were here, the German settlers. And here are the sheep from the farmer. 
Yeah, we're visiting here because uh, yeah, we had we we bought some cows from him from the farmer, uh, and we had them on our on in my father's village uh, for a few years. So I never visited here before, so I thought it would be interesting to see where they came from. Yeah, this village is called Nemška Loka, which means German meadow. It literally means German meadow. Look at this old well. And back there we go. Back right. I don't know what we are doing here. Are we going here right or what? I guess. Bit of gravel road. Oh, here's the right one. Yeah. Here's the right place. Okay, we ate lunch a little bit by the friendly Hobbich family on the Hobbich farm and now he's gonna take us a bit around the area about, uh, around his his ranch <coughs> I will go on with my motorcycle and my father will go uh, right in his um, Jeep his car and yeah let's see what awaits us there okay hopefully I didn't lose something now let's check out the the ranch or how do you call it okay here we go here they go with their their car and I'm here alone <laughs> with the bike let's see okay wow now it begins here <laughs> off-roading a little bit wow nice forest road this is what I wanted to do yes today as well good thing that my father is inside the cars inside the car because, yeah, it wouldn't be the best for his, his cruiser. Whoa, yeah, and it was raining yesterday. Oh, look at the mud. Wow, slippery. Look at this, look at this. Ah, here we are or not no just a cross road wow whoa 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 look at the mud man wow Jesus! First time I'm riding into this kind of terrain. 
Blue's gonna get dirty. Oh, we need to open it. Yeah. We're not there yet. Wow. Yeah, it was raining the last few days a little bit, so it's a bit dirty. It's a bit muddy. Oh, wow. It's quite a bit muddy here. Probably also because the cows drink here. But this is proper off roading. And where can I find? Roads like this. Ah, cows running away already. <laughs> Probably first time they're seeing a motorcycle here. Look at them. Gale away. Cattle. And we're pretty much on top of the hill. Amazing. Oh, the, the rocks. Whew, need to be careful. Whoa, look at all the rocks. We need to uh, ride slalom here. Look at the cows. <laughs> Always looking at us when we're riding past. They say they probably think it to themselves, what in the world is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, look at them. All gathered in a group. This one saying, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we had cars like this for a few years in my father's village. Oh, don't mind me. Just passing through. Well, now everyone is making a noise. Okay, let's continue to the next viewpoint. The cows also ran away <laughs> from us. Firstly, at the start they they came look, they came and they came to look to take a closer look what in the world is going on. But then they <laughs> Slowly lost interest. Oh, look at them. Here they are. <laughs> A whole line of them. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. They're running away. Oh, no. The bad guy on the Oh, the motorcycle is here again. Mm. Look at them.
Hop, hop, hop. Spectacular. Oh. Shaking me up, up pretty nicely here. <laughs> Now this is proper off-road tra off training here. Look at this. I have something stuck underneath. I think I have some kind of stick, I think. Look at this. This is proper, look at this. Oh. Yeah, I had something stuck underneath. But look at this, this is a proper jungle here already. <laughs> oh, back into the forest. If this isn't off-roading, then I don't know. Whoa, it's pretty steep. Wow! No way! Oh my goodness! This is so steep! <laughs> Jesus, where are we going? <laughs> Oh. Definitely the most off-road I've done so far. The most hardcore as well. Look at this. Whew. Wow. I think for me it's best to go here left. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's on the edge of falling right now. Let's wait a little bit. Whoa. Let's see if it helps. If I turn ABS off, so I, can, I can really feel that the, the, the rear tire is just going forward. Oh shit! Well, this day is bound to happen, right? First fall. It doesn't turn on. Are you kidding me right now? Oh no. And we're nearly here. Oh, okay. Whew, it's running again. It's like it needed a bit of a a bit of a break the bike. Whew. First proper off-roading fall. Here we go. Oh, but okay, everything is nice, everything's fine. Just have a little bit of a scratched this uh, exhaust protector, but no big deal. Everything else is good, but wow This last section was real Proper off-road definitely not for beginners. 
I was lucky I didn't fall before. But okay, now we're slowly going back down on this road. Wow, but what an environment to ride in. Look at this scenery. Absolute dream. Here's the old church. Wow. Look at it. The ruins. Uh, we're now we're nearly back down so Whew. This, will, this will definitely be one of the hardest off-roads I did and probably will do in the foreseeable future. This was really extreme. And we're finally back on the road. Wow. This has really been an adventure today. All right, this is it. And yeah, now it's 10 to 4. Uh, we have another two hours till home, so we we won't be able to go to the to the border today. Really, really, really a shame. But yeah, we we went too too late out. We had the plan to go at 10, but then we, we went out at, I think, 11 or or something like that. But yeah, we'll do that another time. Still need to visit uh, my father's friend there. But yeah, whew, what a day off-roading. I didn't expect it to be this hardcore, really. This was really something else didn't expect it but yeah what was nice to to practice a little bit to get a, a few more kilometers off-road it never um, it's never bad to get some more off-road experience so now as I said two hours to home let's do this Goodness, Ljubljana in rush hour. All right, guys, we are finally out of the busy Ljubljana. We have another like 10 minutes or something, so we're pretty much there. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. It was quite a ride to the farm to Kocevia. Uh, very interesting history they have here with the settlers, the German settlers. Also the farm, they had the farm for 40 years. They came there with basically nothing. I think with only a mobile home or, or something. At least that's my, what my father told me. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Unfortunately, we didn't. We weren't able to go to, to uh, my father's friend at the border, works at the border because uh, it's just too late. Now it's nearly 6 o'clock, so 6 p.m. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that definitely another time. And maybe we'll then even cross into Croatia for a little bit. We'll see. But yeah, the off-road part whew, was pretty extreme. I must say, <laughs> didn't expect it to be this hard. I was thinking maybe uh, it would be something like in the last video. Uh, where my father and I rode a little bit off-road on the farmers farmers route where they probably go with tractors or something but yeah didn't uh, didn't expect it but still it was nice the bike only fell once so <laughs> I was doing pretty good I think for the first real off-road we'll see when I do the next the next one this was really special because the 
the farmer uh, from the Hobbit farm he he gave me permission and led me lead me through the through the uh, routes that he has there to visit the cattle so if you enjoyed the video you can give me a like if you want to see more similar videos uh, subscribe to the channel and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video bye